they can be very different depending on the older sister or brother and uh, uh, this way they are not predictable we can't say for sure if they will be so ambitious and uh, disciplined and responsible like uh, older ch child or so funny so easy to get in touch like a uh, uh, younger uh, uh, child it's well known fact uh, that these are they are the most uh, um, able uh, people to compromises to discussions and to find in a common conclusion common um, decision or solution of the problem. So they uh, make quite good couples, uh, good matches with the younger uh, children uh, between uh, middle and middle child because there will be a mess between them, no exact things, no planning, so it can be disaster. Hello, my dear subscriber. And uh, today we continue the topic uh, talking about birth order and how it influences our life and uh, the choice of partner, what would be the best compatible partner uh, taking into account your birth order. And uh, today we talk about middle uh, children. Uh, you know, it is um, the least understandable uh, category of uh, uh, people because uh, if you look at different sources of information and different books on uh, on birth order, you notice that uh, the least part of, of uh, uh, pages in them is devoted to middle children, because uh, middle children also is the most um, like a mystery. They can be very different depending on the older sister or brother and. Uh, uh, this way they are not predictable. We can't say for sure if they will be so ambitious and uh, disciplined and responsible like uh, older ch child or so funny, so easy to get in touch like uh, a younger uh, uh, child. So they are very different and um, the least uh, as the least studied because the many factors also also influence them but usually the middle child uh, and the second child in the family they are quite similar but again we remember about the age difference between uh, children in a family so if it's five years and or more the position will be already different the child will be considered either a single or, or older so take it into account. Mm. But what we can say about middle children anyway, uh, it's well known fact uh, that these are, they are the most uh, um, able uh, people to compromises, to discussions and to find in a common conclusion, common um, decision or solution of the problem. So they are quite good uh, in uh, establishing contacts with people, especially um, in uh, conflict situations, they are good mediators, uh, they are good in diplomacy, uh, they can uh, uh, find a solution in almost any situation between two other couples, so they are pretty good in it, because as we mentioned now in other videos, uh, we learn it, we learn some things from the childhood and um, middle children, they were in this position always uh, in their family, so they know how to do it. So it's important to, to pay attention that uh, middle ch children on, often feel abandoned, ignored uh, or even hurt because of, the, of just even their position in the family. Because as we know, the, if uh, the uh, oldest child uh, it takes all the, um, all the attention of parents, they put much hopes and, and beliefs in, 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 into um, his future, into him, uh, so uh, tr he tries to feed their requirements. While uh, the youngest child in the family, uh, it gets the much more uh, of uh, appreciation, love, uh, being spo spoiled, and uh, in this way, the middle child it's in the middle, and it doesn't get no neither what the bonuses that uh, oldest child gets, older child, neither uh, either the bon bonuses that uh, the youngest child. Uh, so it's in the middle. He's in the middle, and um, it means that. Uh, in many cases, for such uh, children, it's, there, it's easier for them to establish new contacts, to establish friendship and connections outside the family. So it's well known that these uh, people, they more often uh, leave the family and they um, start their own families in, in quite early age sometimes. And uh, it's easier for them to find friends 
outside the family rather than a struggle for their uh, place in their own family. And uh, uh, also it's a rule that um, the middle child tries to be the opposite to, to the older. So if the older is uh, responsible, accurate, punctual, and so on, like that, then the, in most cases the middle child will try to be the rebel or the uh, opposite type of person. Uh, you can also monitor it in life to see if it's so or not and uh, share with me. And uh, don't forget to put like if you like this video too. Uh, and uh, it's considered uh, quite often that uh, middle children they are more able to establish in um, good families because uh, yes they are quite flexible they are ready to discuss things they are ready to find solutions that would fit both parts of the conflict or in, in situ any situation so um, they are considered to be quite good in uh, being a life partner. Uh, so, um, the middle children, they are considered to be like a mystery type of uh, children and they um, they are not so predictable as we would like, maybe. Uh, but still, they are very good partners uh, and you can check it in real life and share with me. And uh, now let's uh, uh, go to the topic about uh, the choice of perfect partner for them. So, they uh, make quite good couples, uh, good match with the younger. Uh, children, uh, so uh, these um, middle children, as I told, they are uh, they are able to discuss things and they are more flexible rather than um, oldest, for example. And younger uh, children, they uh, they don't like to take responsibility so much, and uh, they are more about uh, having nice time, having fun, a fun time. So this couple, in this couple, can be a balance of responsibility and. Uh, irresponsibility and uh, each occupies uh, his or her position and uh, I think that even in such cases um, a middle child can feel even more um, happier or compensate some of his um, wishes, his uh, uh, dreams to be uh, the leading because before in the childhood he didn't uh, have this opportunity. And um, in, in, so there are also some couples uh, when uh, there is a uh, older child and uh, middle child in these families. Usually, middle children they need, need more uh, more attention and more talking by souls with the older uh, member of family and with the man or woman who was uh, the older child. So, because sometimes, as we discussed, they are quite middle children, they are quite sensitive and uh, they need this connection of souls and uh, attention to their feelings. So it would be great if uh, all the child, he would uh, or she would um, more often ask uh, the middle child how he feels, what's going on and so on, and it would be highly appreciated by the, by the middle child. And probably it's not a very good variant, it's not uh, so much advised to make a cup match between a middle and middle child because there will be a mess between them, no exact things, no planning, so it can be disaster. But um, again, as we talked in the previous videos, uh, everything is um, depends on many other factors, we can't say that uh, this person uh, is uh, like that or like that just because of his birth order because many other factors influence like uh, childhood, the type of parents, uh, what uh, beliefs uh, they gave to him or, or to her and um, what life lessons he, he got because, because you also know that children's life change maybe not dramatically but to some extent and um, we also change in relation, relationships too so I think that uh, this information was helpful for you, maybe new for some of the, some of you, and uh, you will use it when you meet uh, your prospective uh, partner, uh, you know your birth order, and uh, you make your own conclusions. And uh, as I always ask you in my previous videos, please uh, leave your questions, leave your, write your comments, and uh, we discuss the topic in more details if you want. Uh, thank you uh, for being on my channel, for being my subscriber if you are, 
and uh, I will prepare new videos for you soon. Write your questions, please, because I use them as for my, my topics for my new videos.